Okay, well, let's flash her up and see what's going to happen here. So. Welcome to Jim's Hangar. Today, we're taking some wheels off fire trucks. We're gonna move the 67, if I can get a boost, 67 Cadillac. We'll be just loosening some bolts in one truck, and now we're gonna come back here and take these tires off, because this is my parts truck, and I need a torch to do it. So that's what we're doing. Uh, they probably were off 15 or 20 years ago. This one's kind of, there she go. Just needed a little more oom pa pa. Perfect. We're going the other side. Oh, I thought the battery would be dead. Bastard. Yeah, so Brian's just heating up these wheel nuts here. We got them all off, but this one just would not break loose, so I'm gonna try the magic heat. Of course, we might get a grass fire here and burn down the neighborhood, but what the hell. There's a, there's a, beside the toolbox, there's a fire extinguisher. Wanna bring it out? Just, thank you. So what's happening there is a, the nut that's on, this is called a, a bud tire. So there's a stud coming out and then there's a, another threaded stud that goes on top of that. And then that's for the inside wheel. And then this one goes on the outside wheel. Well, what happened is over the years it's been rounded off because their socket wasn't right on. So now we're just gonna cut it here, split it, take it off. So. No, I'm just, I know we're using a bigger one another day, but this is fine, it's not even gonna. Can I just spin that stud now, Brian? Huh? Can I spin that stud yeah, out? Because it's loose on there, but I just got a little bit of the old knuckle still on there. Okay, let me just uh, put this wedges in some fucking wire. It's as hard as they are to turn. Let me get that other long one. Yeah, right there. Okay. Try this. Up on top. Oh, there. No, I got it here. Yeah, he's got the other one in there. Hopefully, that's enough. Let 
No, I'm gonna square it up. Got your axe down back here again. <laughs> Nothing to it, Brian. Yeah. Piece of cake. So these are called bud wheels, and what they are is they have a stud coming out of the axle and then another stud going on top of them. As you can see, I'll just take one off. And one side's left-handed, and one side's right-handed. So some of these come off easy, Lord knows why. But what we're doing is we want to keep parts here because this is a 57. I need all the parts I can get. So we're taking these off in case I need brake parts in a fire truck. They're exactly the same size. And then I've got some, the tires that are on the fire truck are 22.5. And I'm having a heck of a time finding rubber for them. I can find a 22.5, but it's 10 inches. And if I put two on the dually, the rubber will touch each other and you can't have that. It's got to have a space there. So I'm looking for some 235 R700 R225s, but 235s is eight inches, which these are. Now these are an old, so this is 7.5, but you can't get 7.5 since they're put on here. So in the interim, I'm gonna stick these wheels in a fire truck. See how much it drops it. The only problem is I already sent another wheels in to have them sandblasted and painted. So I might end up doing the same with these. So that's what we're up to here. So the only reason I am uh, want to get the correct tire is because I want to keep the truck period as much as I can, the 57. So if I can get some 2235s, I found some in Nova Scotia. And that's the guy, if he happens to be coming this way, it's only 3,000 miles, but he hasn't answered me yet. You never know. <laughs> so if he's coming this way, you can bring him with him. But... Well, we move to the second side now. <laughs> All the way to the end. Eh? <laughs> On the other side, these are left handed, the other side is right hand. Not that that's an issue, but the studs have been in there so long, we can't get them to break loose. And this wrench that come with in 1957 has a bit of wear in it, as you can see. So, what we're going to do is go to town and see if we can get anything with a 7 8 square. I'm sure the tire shop somewhere will have one. Then we'll try it tomorrow with an impact gun and give it another another shot. Well, thanks for uh, coming along for what we're doing today, whatever it is. And uh, tomorrow we'll do something different because we got lots of projects. So have a great day, and may I, all you skies be blue. <laughs>